Ladies, what we got going on here? Huh? What's going on here? Can you make me see? Mm -hmm. Get it in the cup, baby. I, I don't like the juice. I want the juice. Give the juice for Big Daddy. <laughs> baby, don't waste the juice, please. <laughs> Honey. Oh. You're from the village? But you just wasted all of that juice. I don't like the juice. Let's give the juice for Big Daddy. Aye. Oh my gosh, now you got the coconut in the in the dirt, baby. That's on the outside of the inside. Honey, you're losing your village skills. <laughs> I know, that's why I tell you don't be wasting the juice. I need that juice, baby. It's good for my health. This is worth the pesos, Marketus. Folks, this woman is losing her village skills. She's been out of the village way too long. And she's lost her skills. Her coconut chopping skills. Her ability to sleep without an air conditioner running. Look at that. Look at all this juice. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Damn. It dripped down my belly. Mm. That juice just rejuvenates you. But for some reason, she don't like the juice, so yesterday she just poured it out. No, I'm not Baby, do you understand that this is good for men's health? This is good for my health. It's good for my yang. I'm telling you now, don't throw out the juice. Mm. Hmm. Ow. Folks, I'm thinking about what I got to do with Fatima. Is I have to send her back to the village. Sort of like a repatriation program, a retraining, a reset to toughen this girl up. Baby, I'm sending you to the village for a basic training all over again. Yep. Now, if I send her to the village, folks, what's it going to do? What it's going to do? Several things. Number one, she's going to lose a lot of weight. That ain't no lie. She's going to lose a lot of weight. She'll probably lose, like, every two days, she'll probably lose a kilo. So she's going to lose weight. She's going to learn to sleep without the air conditioner again. She's going to sweat, which means she's going to lose weight. She can uh, learn how to use the coconut chopper again, how to climb the coconut tree. All these skills that are perishable when you live with the rich foreign guy like me. Oh, you're not rich. <laughs> Baby, you, get, you, you got soft, just like every Filipina gets soft when they move in with a foreign dude. I mean, it's just the way it is. So I think I need to send her to the village for a little retraining program, you know. Just to update you, baby. That's, that's what you need. You need an update. You know what I mean? It's like you downloaded an app, and you've been using that app for like five years, and now it's not working right. It's because you need an update. I got to hit that update on her village skills, her ability to survive in the village. What y'all think? Honey, for three years, you haven't seen your family. You've been crying and begging to go to the village, and now I'm prepared to send you. It's time. 
Yeah, but not just three, baby, it's not a three day tour. This is gonna be a three month retraining program, okay? The Great Reset. All right. Yeah, maybe Forrest G needs a basic training. If he goes to the village for three months, he'll come out tough. He'll come out of there a soldier. <laughs> he'll be so damn appreciative of that big screen and that uh, air con in there. Baby. Okay, that's your warning order. Be prepared to deploy to the village. Three month deployment. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. You get you get extra money. You get you're gonna get combat pay. <laughs> I don't owe you nothing, baby. You owe me. What I owe you? You owe me to eto thousand. I don't owe you two. How do I owe you two thousand? You get my money yesterday. I did not get your ah, money yesterday. You you buy you beer or you? Mm. Okay, let's get down to business here. All right, how did I get your money? You said, can I use your money to buy a beer or? Okay, but I bought beer and Cokes, right? And do you drink the Cokes? No, I'm not drinking. Yeah. You don't want to drink. You and Maria were just no, drinking I'm a not Coke. Drink. Maria, Roy, Maria, Roy. <laughs> I don't know. Once really. you give, I... once you give a Filipino money, she thinks that's a savings account. So uh, yesterday it was time to re up the, I know the drinks. That's mine. I know that's mine. And so since she had to get in her bank to pay for it, she thinks I owe her the money back. Boy, I that's mine. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness, honey. This is part of the village retraining program. Okay? <laughs> no, because... <laughs> Baby, just listen. Look. If you go to the village and you have 5000 in your pocket, that's going to be gone in a week because you're buying everybody in the village rice and everything else and red horse and everything else. At least that's the food. Yeah, at least that's the food, yeah. But if you buy food here, you act like I have to reimburse you. Oh, I'm not, I, so if you spend I, money in the village, who's going to reimburse you? Nobody. No, that's, that's a beer. Oi, that's a beer. Mm. So it's okay to buy the family food out of your own pocket, but it's not okay but to, buy, to buy me a beer? I buy you food in here too. I buy you food in here too. Okay, the last time she went to the store, she bought... I'll have to go back and look at the video, but you and I, they went up there and you bought livers and squid and rice. None of those dishes were for the foreign dude. They weren't. They didn't appeal to me. So you're talking about you're spending money out of your pocket on food. Well, yeah, but you're buying what you want, not what I want. Why well, I got to reimburse you. See, too much talking. Just give me my 2000 back. <laughs> hey, you want to marry Filipina? Just understand, any money you give her, any money you give her for anything, that's her savings account, and she ain't buying you a damn beer. Okay? I gave her 5,000 pesos, and she won't buy me a beer. Welcome to dating a girl from Southeast Asia. Okay? What? Your pocket's empty because you, you go spend the money as soon yeah, as I give it to you. Yeah, my pocket is empty because you get my money, you buy your beer. Honey, my whole case of beer, my whole case of beer was only like, what, 700 pesos? What? Oh, please, 700. Oh, give me 700. <laughs> but I gave you 5,000. <laughs> See the stress I'm under? Y'all can't imagine the stress that I'm under here in the Philippines. Can't imagine. <sighs> I might even put a shirt on today. It's a beautiful day. I guess I'd go for a walk. Why we go in the park? Yeah, we we'll, we'll go to the park. It means I gotta put a shirt on. Help Mama Tina clean up, clean up her mess. I clean your mess too every day. <laughs> I mean, 
Nobody cares that you're not wearing a bra. It's actually much appreciated. No, I care. It's not written anywhere. It says a young lady has to wear a bra. This is for you only, not <laughs> That's like trying to tell me I got to wear a jock strap all the time. Or that I have to wear underwear. Yeah. So beautiful, baby. Stubby. My goodness. Sitting here watching little ancient aliens. Bands propulsion systems. Stuff like that. Waiting on my jacuzzi to get here. I texted the dude this morning. It took a long time to reply. Yesterday we were texting. He was Johnny on the spot. And today it's like, you know, back to... Filipino time and Filipino style communication. You know, send him a text. He got to run to the sorry, sorry store to get some load before he replies. So I texted the dude. I'm like, hey, man, bring that jacuzzi on over. Get the cool on, cool on. Let's rock and roll. So I'm sitting here, sitting here waiting on that jacuzzi. But it's typical like time is more of a suggestion once you leave the west I've said that many times so when you ask somebody here hey man what time you coming so I know how to plan my day I got other shit to do right there's no reply <laughs> so you don't know if he's coming yeah. for sure you certainly don't know when he's coming you just sit here and wait well, that's the Philippines, right? Nobody wants to... Yeah, time's not important here. And neither is communication. It's... You know, you can't send me a text and say, Hey, man, I'll be there around 3, or I'll be there between 3 and 4, or 3 and 5. Nope. Just no reply. The dude could pull up any moment right now. He could pull up while I'm sitting here videoing, but... You know, it's just daily frustrations living here that you're not used to in the West. In the West, we live by time. We live and die by the time. It's like on uh, Tom Hanks, right? We live and die by the clock in the West. If you're a woman at late, it's considered rude. You leave the West, it ain't like that. Middle East, Southeast Asia, well, anywhere. The minute you leave the West, time is just more of a suggestion. It's like a guideline. So that's what I'm doing. Sitting here looking at this beautiful girl. I just watched her chop up that chicken behind the camera. Ain't nothing more sexy than watching a beautiful Filipina chop up a chicken. Well, maybe if she has to kill the chicken and pluck it, and then, she, and then you know, oh, that's beautiful too. She can do that. Baby, you know how to kill a chicken? Yeah, chop, chop it, uh, chop that poor. That's dead already. Mm. Hey, do you miss being in the village? <laughs> yes or no? April. Yeah. Do you miss vill village yeah. life? Yeah. Little bit. <laughs> What's the main thing you miss about living in the village? What? What? I can see. <laughs> Go in the sugar cane. Okay, so you you miss going in the sugar cane and sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> what? I 
just tell the truth. Why do Filipinos love to sleep so much? Great answer. Oh, so sweet. More, more. Give mommy kisses more.